how frequently should we check on people? How frequently should we check on those, at least those within our circle? And what is the right time, the appropriate time? At what point should we raise alarm about an alarm about the whereabouts of someone, especially those we know? As for me, I'm uh, taking my time to observe people around me. When I get calls from my church, it's because they have not seen me to come and play the piano for them. Hmm. When I get calls from my friends, it's because they want me to come and do something for them, so I deal with them. And when I get calls from the city as well, I, I know that they also want something. So it's hard for me to just get so like, uh, let me just, I've not seen you for a while, let me just check on you. Although I do these things to people, I call them when I don't see them for a while, but when I get calls from other people, it's because they want something. But it's still a good one, because uh, if among the millions of people or billions of people in uh, in Nigeria, and uh, you can figure me out to ask for something, I still see that it's positive. Well, but, 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 but let me let me tell you, you know, George, sometimes no. those calls that seem like they want you for something would would serve as a saving grace for you at some point. I don't know if you get what yes. I mean. Yes. Yes. So it may be that they originally wanted you for something and while at it, they now discover that, oh, George is not feeling fine or George is in the hospital, or something terrible happened to George. Whether or not they will act on it, at least someone is aware that that is your current situation. And I think that thing about church members calling you, most churches do it. I mean, there's a follow-up department. Yes, uh, my, my uh, situation is not about follow-up. It's about uh, my responsibility. Your responsibility in the church. Uh, but then, uh, the, the, the two people that I have a thing that can say check on me and my social media friends. Your yeah, social media friends, okay. Like I said, we're not seeing online for two days. They want to know why, what happened. It's not like you and someone like that. So I give credit to those ones. Okay, all right. I'm always an advocate of, you know, checking up on people. I value that a lot. And uh, that's because I do know that people are going through a lot. Mm. And then I do not want to add to the a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so in my own uh, little way, I try to do that. How often do I do that? In as much as I sometimes I just do that, you know, impromptu, I just do that. I could just be relaxing and then doing one or two things and I discover that oh ah this particular person has not heard from the person even though we've been chatting, mm. even though we've been seeing ourselves on Facebook, on Instagram, on anywhere, WhatsApp. Mm. But I just feel like man, a call is different. A phone call is quite different from WhatsApp call, yeah. quite different from uh, um chatting. WhatsApp chat, mm. quite different from Messenger mm. and all of that. Right? Mm. Now that is for those that are even active on those platforms. Then how about those that have not been active even on the platforms and all of that? Then it's very important you reach out to them to find out how are they, you know, how they are faring and all of that. And again, most importantly, it surprises me when people post about um, how they are feeling. Mm. If, for instance, somebody posts on Facebook, uh, I feel like the the ground should open right now for me to enter. In fact, this life is worthless and all of that. Mm. And then somebody would just see it and then would love it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, really? We just love it and, and pass by. I don't, it, without doing anything. So what happens to you reaching out to the person, just loving it, and the person is dying? Hmm. Okay, so I take note of all of those things. Uh, when my friends, uh, people I'm connected with, you know, every content they put out, when it has to do with, you know, emotional issues like that, hmm. I, I take it upon myself to reach out to them to find out how they are doing, how they're faring, and sometimes, um, trying to open up to me, even when they would not never open up to anybody. anybody. But because I took it upon myself to persist, to actually enter them very well, being that I am quite an observant person. I preach being observant of your world to know when people are right, uh, when people are fine, mm. or what, people are not fine, when things are wrong or right with people. Because mm. if you are not observant, you just be saying things they are doing and then you feel it's normal. Mm. So they are fine, they are okay, and all of that. You know, All stuff right. like that. So it's important we reach out to ourselves, to check up on ourselves. And again, some persons say, uh, well, personally, I don't even, uh, I'm, I'm a calling type. Most of my friends are not a calling type. Yes, yeah, people I don't say it, oh, I'm, I'm not the calling type. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't take it against them. I don't, mm. it's not a charge. You do understand? 
I don't count it a charge against them because we are we are humans and then we are we are wired differently. We have a different uh, you know attitude and all of that. So all and right. it's, a, it's a it's a win-win thing. It's a two-way thing actually. All if right, you don't see a, if you don't receive a call from me, what stops you from calling me from to calling find out how I'm doing and all of that? All right. You know this present world that we live in now where people stay in a compound and like maybe you have like six tenants in a compound mm. for one reason or the other people don't talk to themselves okay mm. so even if you're in your house you've not eaten for two days the shame and pride would not even allow you to talk to the very person who you can just reach out just to save yourself mm. you know it's possible that people can die of hunger in the house like for two days, you don't eat anything. You'll be so light and empty. Hmm. The little strength you're going to use to call, you can get to meet people who reach out to people who are farther away from you. Then these very ones who are close to you in your compound. For one or two reasons, you guys don't rapport. Okay? And I also want to say that whoever has a friend that always gives them a little when they ask for one little help, they should go down. Like they should just, they should be very, very appreciative and they should be thankful for such people in their lives. When this recent times, we, what we just went through, even when there was no uh, lack of uh, currency, the, the, the current, new currency uh, no issue, people didn't have to see like 500 naira a day. It's like it was worse. For some people, it went from worse to worse for them. They were not seeing wow. 500 naira a day. Wow. And this thing now came with the new... Uh, new notes, whatever, the Wahala and all that. Then it was intense. Okay. So it's possible that somebody could die of hunger in the house. Very true. Very true. Thank you so much.